Hey, I'm Farm Dad, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to operate a Cat D2 Dozer. You're in for some fun. Let's first go over the starting procedure. You need to buckle your safety belt. I like to go ahead and put my foot down on the pedal on the floor. Uh, some people call this a brake. It is a throttle down pedal. Now all you have to do is turn the key. Your touch screen will illuminate and start warming up. To get started, there's two buttons you're going to want to hit. One is park to remove your parking brake. And the other one is hydraulic lock to remove your hydraulic lock. Your hydraulic lock prevents you from being able to use your bucket. Then you're going to need to throttle up your machine. Now you're ready to pull down. But before doing that, let me go over the rest of the controls. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, that way it's easier to go over all the controls. Let's start over here with the left hand joystick. Just like any other dozer, this is how you drive. So you've got forward. Backward. Left. And right. And the harder you turn left, you actually feel it. There's a second position. That second position makes you turn on a dime either direction. Now the speed is controlled by this little toggle switch right here. So you move this down to go slower and you move this forward to go faster. Since we're over here, let me go ahead and go over this. This is your horn. Your right hand joystick controls your blade. So this is a six way blade on these machines, which means you can take it up you can take it down. You can tilt it left. You can tilt it right. Or using this little toggle right here, you can move it back and forth. Button right here shakes the dirt off your blade. To the right of that joystick, this is your parking button. It parking brake automatically comes on anytime you turn it off. This is your hydraulic lock button. And here's your lights. This is your throttle control. On a bulldozer, I like to always leave it all the way up. And that's just a best practice. Now this does have an economy mode, but the way I see it, there's really no point to using the economy mode because you're either A, renting the machine and you want as much power as you have and you only have so many hours to work it and you're gonna be working it hard, or in B, uh, maybe it's uh, you're working it on a construction site and it's not your gas anyway. So my mind, just leave that throttle all the way up. Behind here is the, if you have a ripper installed on the back of your dozer, this is how you would raise and lower it. The dozer that I have here today does not have a ripper. Over on the left side, uh, next to your cup holders are your air conditioning controls and 
as I mentioned already, down here on the floor, you've only got one pedal and that throttles you down anytime. It, it actually, it, you can control your throttle with this. So if you wanna go just a little bit, uh, you can just raise it just a little bit or all the way down will stop your machine. It's kind of like using a brake. And uh, what you wanna do is anytime that you're switching from forward to reverse, you wanna push in this pedal and let that engine uh, throttle down before shifting. That's just the best practice in any dozer. All right, here on the screen, it's still warming up, but you've got your gas gauge, your def fluid. This is your speedometer. This tells you which gear you're in. And this is your speed control. So the higher the number, the faster you go. The F stands for forward and the R stands for, for reverse. So right now, if I was to use this, I would go pretty fast in forward and I'd go even faster in reverse. When you put the into reverse, you get a nice backup camera with lines and everything so you can see where you're going. And of course, that camera stays on all the time. It just gets larger when you're in reverse. You do have a full menu where you can control, you know, sort of your options and things like that. I am not going to go into a lot of detail on this. Uh, this is just a video to, to get you up and going. Over here is telling you your, the slope you're on front to back. And over there is telling you the slope you're on left to right. When you're in reverse, those show up over on the right side. Up above, you've got your wiper controls up here, and of course your radio. I think I should also mention, if you never have used a dozer before, heavy equipment like this, uh, you have your door handle here. Of course, on a nice day, if you don't want to have the window open, or I should say the doors open, you can lock them back in place right out here. And so, once you've opened that all the way, it is now locked in place. And to unlock it, there's a little switch right there. I hope this video helped you. If it did, would you mind helping me by clicking the subscribe button? We are a family of six living our best life on 90 acres in the Washtenaw Mountains of Arkansas. And every time someone hits that subscribe button, it helps grow our channel. We appreciate you.